Huh. G'day Scully here. Just doing the intro to the show. Just doing our butterfly chicken and we, we're also going to use the same 15 inch fry pan for brekkie this morning. <laughs> yeah, g'day Memo 5 here, like Scully just said. We're going to be using the 15 inch fry pan today. 15 and a quarter inch actually, it's stamped on the bottom so it's a lodge fry pan. I picked her up for 10 bucks. Give her a quick clean. It'll all be in this video. It's pretty big, so it's just a quick scrub, bit of elbow grease. We cleaned her up, we re-seasoned her, and we cooked up some breakfast this morning, and we're also gonna do chicken. So we're gonna do butterfly chicken, boom, with a bit of rosemary and garlic seasoning, just from McCormick, and a few spuds on the outside. So stick around, and we'll get stuck into it. Roger D. <laughs> Okay then, we've just gone, um, just given it a quick hit with the wire brush. So, yeah, just took all the surface rust off it. Uh, we're just gonna put it into the sink here, and we're gonna give it a clean, but that's one big fry pan. Righty, -o, we'll wash it up. I'll fast forward this one, eh? Alrighty, so I'm gonna get this fry pan happening. This is about the fourth jug of hot water, so I just tipped it in there. We'll get it going on. And then as long as I can see, I don't want heaps of bubbles, but, so as long as I can see, there's four jugs of boiling water. This is just cold tap water. Got it. Alright, we'll give this puppy a wash, eh? Hey? Old fresh away. You want the elbow grease? So you give it a quick hit with the uh, wire brush, get a wire brush, if you grind it, or just a handheld wire brush. Give it a quick hit with that, you get all the flaky rust off, and then the rest of it can go in here. Just give it a good old scrub, eh? Hey? Get in here real good tight. Haha, right here, still done, eh? Roger, Roger, That's all nice and clean, all the rust is going off it now, so yep, I'm going to put the old lodge in for seasoning. And as you can see from any of my previous videos, I like to give it six coats of seasoning. So I'm going to start this now, put it in now, and then um, all I use is canola cooking oil. There's heaps of oil, you can use whatever oil you want, just Google it, seasoning cast iron, and make your own mind up. But I use this because it's quick and easy. All you've got to do is just go like that, just spray it on, nice even coat. I always do the inside first because the inside is your cooking surface and that way then once this rag is oiled, once this towel is oiled, I can oil the top of the pan, I can oil the handle and I can flip it over and oil the back because remember what you want is thin coats. Give the base a bit of a spray. You just want thin coats of oil 
for the seasoning process. So it polymerizes and becomes a non-stick surface that is good for you. All right, I'll put that in the oven, put it upside down. I'll just take my baking tray out. That's my baking tray. My old man gave me that one and that was uh, rustier than this 15 inch fry pan. So she come up a treat. So I'll put this in upside down. Only just fits in my pizza oven. Turn her on. And I'll leave that on high for about 45 minutes. So I'll just put it on high, let it go for 45 minutes to max temp. Then I'll turn it off, leave it all in there, let it cool for one hour, and then I'll put it on, that's one coat. And then I'll put it on for another 45 with another layer of oil and repeat that process. I like to do it six times. Gives it nice, nice polymerized um, coating on your cast iron skillet, which is... Alrighty, I'll just give you a quick shot of this. Now, like I said, I'll just use the... Um, Canola oil, you can pick up that up from your local Audi. So, this is just three coats. This is just after three coats, so. Um, yeah, that's the third coat now of oil. So that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Nice patina. After three coats, it's getting near the same color as the baking tray. That's got six coats on it. So you can see the the difference it's just a light gray but yeah very happy so I'll, I'll put it back in now for another 45 and like i said this is the third coat hey how you going just thought i'd um, buzz in have a look at this fry pan we seasoned her up last night ready for the chicken dish tonight there you go she's all seasoned up ready to go now what i'm going to do i woke up just now like i said it's this morning and it's a beautiful day so i've just set up a fire over there in the fire pit There's the fire over there in the fire pit ready to go because we're going to do brekkie this morning as well. Alrighty, so my fire's a goer. i just let that burn up, make a bit of coals, and then we'll put the old trivet. We'll put the horseshoe trivet. Right there, with some coals we'll scrape down and we'll get brekkie going. We'll get brekkie going for sure. Roger D. Alrighty, there we go. We've got the 15 and a quarter inch lodge fry pan, the one I bought for 10 bucks, and seasoned her up last night, yesterday and last night. So we'll cook up some brekkie on that, and um, yeah, she'll look good. Alrighty, there you go. Brekkie for four in the one fry pan. Roger. I did the crumpets with the stick, so they're just um, cooling down there, so. Okay, that's brekkie done. Um, this is the tonight's dish. So we've got that preheating in there. She's hot, she's hot. She's hot. Put the butter in there. Some water in there. That's um, boiling water I'm putting in there, boiling water. Butterfly chicken. And potatoes. And that's it. I'm going to put this fry pan on top of that fry pan. And then stick it back in the oven. So squash chicken and potatoes. <clears throat> And we'll cook that for about for about one hour. Ha <laughs> ha! Quick and easy. Quick and easy. All right, jugs just boiled. 
20 minutes. I'm going to check it at 20 minutes because um, Mrs. Mepo 5 has instructed me that the water cannot run out and go dry. So. It's going all right. Some more boiling water. Go oh, that boiling water. I'll put it back in, eh? There's a bit of a glare on there, eh? But like, you know, I don't know whether you can see it. All right, I think there's enough uh, water in there. We'll let that go for the remaining uh, 40 odd minutes. Thank you. Alrighty, she's been an hour. Let's get this chicken out. She's sitting on 200 degrees. When I first put it in there, it was about 180. So she's all done and dusted. That is heavy. Alright, okay, so we'll turn that off. gas off. I'll put these irons back. Get a bit of a there's the dish there. Just put these irons back. There we go. Let's get this back in this dish. And we'll get it upstairs, eh? There you go. Squash chicken, bottom fry pan is my 15 and a quarter inch fry pan, the top one is 12 inches. So that's how big, we'll take it upstairs now and we'll get it served out. Remember if your juices are clear in your chicken, when you poke it, she's, she's done. <laughs> so we just brought him back up. So like I said, that, that fry pan there, that's 12 inches. 12 inches fry pan and look at that sitting on top of that and this one's 15 inches so look at that butterfly chicken and roast potatoes beautiful beautiful the big fry pan Roger thanks for watching subscribe and tell your mates see you next Wednesday Alrighty, we even whipped up our own gravy from the, the fixings on the bottom. Look at that. Beautiful. Pan gravy. I did that myself. Mrs. Mepo 5 helped me. She guided me through the process, but I'm pretty happy with that. Chicken and gravy.